Just a small project. Soybeans need some herbicide treatment done to them. There's a creek that goes down through right here. Jason's gonna fly around the boundary and plussing it. Right. Yeah. He's not coming out. Drone's on the way back. We got a problem already. All right, how's it going folks? Mike with New Way Ag. Me and Jay are gonna go out and do a just a small project, but Jay needs to get out of shop. The dude's been working hard in the shop. Sometimes you just gotta go out, get a little sunshine, get a little drone action under your belt again to reset. Lots of uh, maintenance been going on in the shop. You guys have been sending your drones here, generators here, we're getting them fixed for you guys. We're trying to get them out as soon as possible, right? It's spray season, you need those drones now. You gotta stay flying to make the, make the dollar, so. We got the new ag trailer. We got everything loaded up. We're gonna go down here and get this knocked out. Soybeans uh, need some herbicide treatment done to them. Let's go. All right, we're on location. Obviously, you can tell that this bean field has quite a bit of weeds in it. So we're gonna be doing this one right here, 30 acres, knock it out in no time. No power lines through it, it'll be gravy. Okay, we got the uh, mix uh, ready. We're gonna do this field right here. There's a creek that goes down through right here. So we have a little bit on this side to do and a little bit on that side. They're sinking right around 28, 27 acres. Jason's gonna fly around the boundary first in M plus, and then once he gets done in M plus, he's gonna save that field. And then we can send the drone in there and do its auto mission. We're gonna do five gallons to the acre on this. We have four nozzles. We could use four nozzles, but it makes a, a mess out of your drone if you don't just blow it straight down. So we're just gonna use two nozzles in the back. It's going to fly a little bit slower, but it'll be uh, fine. So here we go, taking the drone off. Yeah. It's not coming out. Connection. Unable to display spraying system. Drones on the way back. We got a problem already. Sometimes these things just have issues. For some reason, we got this solenoid that's sticking. This solenoid has been leaking, so we're gonna probably have to pull this off. And that one works over there. Literally, we were just using this drone yesterday. Had no problem whatsoever. We were, we did 230 acres in five hours, corn fungicide. Bring it out here, boom, got an issue. So what's gonna happen because that tank is so full, it's gonna wanna push that product down through here. He's gonna go ahead and pull his off and then we're gonna swap these solenoids. Would that take about three and a half minutes? Swap that out. We'll test this. I gotta tighten this screw up, that. Hopefully that solenoid will work. Go ahead and test that thing. There you go. Now we're ready to rip. Finally got her troubleshoot and took the solenoid from that front one, put it in the back, hop in the field, start manual plotting. So flight speed is 28. Is that what it is? Yep. Yeah. 28 feet per second. Are you gonna go underneath the power line a little bit? A little bit. Looks real good blowing that stuff. All right, and save as a field. 15.9, save that. So you got done flying that boundary, 
went around it, saved at his field, telling us that the task area is 7.5 acres, which is almost exactly what the farmer told us it would be. You can tell exactly where the drone flew because it's flying a little bit slower, so it's pushing that product down, down in there. And we're definitely getting overlap because you can tell yeah. right where the drone flew. Fifty percent battery. Yep. Jay's got the drone out there. It's flying in straight lines. As you can tell by the drone footage with uh, how the beans kind of lay down a little bit, the drone is flying slower, so it's forcing that product down there, but we're definitely getting good coverage, getting overlap on each side. Looking really good. Only time will tell how good it works, but if you guys haven't seen our burn down video where we did burn down, it totally smoked the field. So we're not gonna have a problem on this. I think this will be the same way. We do have a little bit of a breeze right now, but because of how much the drone is pushing the product down there, we don't have a problem. 500 micron, 25 foot round spacing, and flying at about 25 feet per second, roughly is what we're doing right now. Jay got this section done here. He just hopped across the creek now, and we're gonna start the bigger section. That's a little bit bigger section over there. Flying M plus down the creek. He's gonna fly, obviously, M plus everything. I just really like M plus because then you know exactly where the boundary is because you flew it close to the trees, close to the creek, whatever it might be. You flew to those edges and then send it into its straight rows. Rather than trying to build it on your controller and just going off of the satellite map, it doesn't work as good. Here we can know for sure that we were, you know, 25 feet, maybe 15 feet off the trees. That's the way we like doing M plus like this. So you can see Jay's basically adjusting the heading of the drone. He's not necessarily adjusting the altitude. You can adjust the altitude, but it'll come back to that preset altitude that he has. The right stick over there, that is the speed that the drone is flying forward. If he pushes more right stick to go forward, it, the drone will only go to a certain speed that he has set in the parameters. So a little bit of a process here when you're by yourself doing these batteries. Austin has figured out that if he takes the battery and sets it there and then pulls this one out, he doesn't have to pick it up again. Nah, I don't care. Yeah, oh I'll yeah, yeah. I need to work out. Yeah. I've been in the shop too much. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty nice blue mix there we got. Yeah, pond dye. Yeah. If you fill your tank completely full and you're doing two gallon work, we cannot keep up with battery management. So the chargers can only charge them so fast. And if you're trying to do two gallon work and you're taking 15 gallons with you, the drone has to carry it with it for so long, it consumes more energy. But because we're doing five gallons to the acre on this stuff, battery doesn't get depleted as much because the load is coming off faster.
You're gonna get sunburned out here. Coming yeah. From that shop. Been in there like last month. I've been sunburning and I've, I've been out here. I got the last Friday when we went spraying. I didn't even think about it. I was just so focused on getting everything done. But at the end of the day, I was like, holy smokes, I was roasted. Yeah. Like a little hot dog. Yep. How do you like that super clamp there? No, it's just. It's yep. just you yeah. gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta uh, have the little gadgets. Yeah. Guys, if you don't know, you can get these super clamps that we have for the controller. It holds your controller. It has a quick release if Jay needs to take it off. We tried it the first season that I was doing this. We tried having like tripods where it would sit on the top of our trailer. It didn't work. They would fall off and it was just not good. But these super clamps, you can clamp it on anything, on your pickup truck, on your new way trailer, on any trailer you got really. Make them nice. For another load, it's gonna tell us right here. We pull this up, it's gonna tell us right there how many gallons we still need. We need 69.2 gallons to get this covered. There we go, got her done. Took a little while, yeah, five we, gallons to the acre. We should've, take, we should've used both. <laughs> yeah, but I was busy filming. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get this uh, drone to, uh, tied down. All right guys, so I wanna tell you what we were spraying for here. Obviously you can see that it appears to be corn, but it's not corn. Farmer just educated me. That is shattered cane. I guess it comes in with birds or comes out of creeks and stuff when guys clean out creeks but that's shatter cane we're trying to get that knocked down for them we're gonna see it's gonna do a really good job i've had really good luck using these spray drones to do herbicide applications but that's all we got for you guys today if you guys are looking for a drone trailer get a hold of us newwayag.com we build the trailers we sell the drones we help you get started in this business if you want to get into a spray drone business if you want to get into it, get a hold of us and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one. There you go, guys. Obviously, I wanted to show you guys this at the end of the video. We had a really good kill. Throughout the beans, there's some broadleaf, so we weren't really controlling the broadleaf, but we were really after the shatter cane. Farmer was impressed with the kill. There was one corner down here just across the creek. Not quite sure that Jason cut the corner a little bit early with the drone. It didn't die. He ended up going in there and hitting that with a backpack spray. But for the most part, the edges, all the edges down the creek, the edges on the far side of that field over there, that was all hit really, really good. And then down the tree line over here, the tree line, I could see when I was behind the drone originally spraying that, it really had a nice curl going underneath the trees. So we got really, really good coverage on this stuff. I'm impressed. Drones work great, and there was no need for him to drive through his fields and smash down his, his beans. They look good, they're tall, but uh, there you go. We got uh, control of this shatter cane using drones. <laughs>